this week's video is about something pretty ridiculous that I found at the dollar store and I just had to get it and take it apart and see what it's about. But first, the more interesting thing, uh, Beer Du Jour is Function Junction from Whistler Brewing. It's a pale ale. I know I don't normally go for pale ales. Um, I figured I'd try and uh, spread my horizons a little bit. Spread my, spread my wings? Widen my horizons? Something. Anyway, it uh, claims to be refreshing and hoppy with a nice malt balance. And I do like a nice malt balance. So, uh, yeah, we'll give that a try. Anyway, the ridiculous thing from the dollar store. A fidget spinner. Yeah, okay, fidget spinners are ridiculous. This one's Bluetooth. Yeah, it's, it's a Bluetooth fidget spinner at the dollar store. Of course I'm going to get it because it's cheap and ridiculous and we'll just, yeah, let's rip into it and see what the hell makes this thing work. Now, I realize that fidget spinners are like a couple years out of date, which is obviously why this one's at the dollar store now. Oh, it's even got a manual. How nice. Oh, spared no expense in the packaging. There's magnets in there. Is that an actual neodymium magnet? Okay, that may be the most interesting thing. Yeah, that's... Oh, it's a little tiny square magnet in a round cap thing. But it's fairly strong. Okay. Okay, let's uh, get back to focus on this thing. Pink, pink. Oh, a pair of CR2032s. Oh, that's worth the uh, price of admission right there. So... This thing just falls apart, and I mean, there's the fidget function, whatever. Um, put the battery, yeah, let's put the batteries in and see what happens. So, I did a little bit of research on this, and I'll show you in a second on the computer. Um, but basically, this thing lets you use the fidget spinner as a game controller. Okay, so there's some blinking lights. Nice. Clip that lid on there. Clip that lid on there. And it spins. Whoopee. Okay. Um, I guess I should... How do you turn it on and off? There's no real switch or anything. Hmm. Uh, yada, yada, yada. And then you download the app. Okay. Uh, look for a rapid blink that lasts 10 seconds. Can okay, attach and close. And then it goes into other languages. There's very little information in here. So the first obvious thing to do is try and go to their website. Let's see what... Aha! That's not a good sign. What's broken about this website? Bad certificates. Yeah, let's risk it. <laughs> okay. So they still seem to have a uh, Instagram page. That's nice. When's the last time they updated it? 79 weeks ago was the last time they updated it. Okay. Fine. Um... So I found a bit of a review on geek.com and they said that there was an SDK that uh, programmers could download and uh, play with. Uh, but since their website is broken, I don't think that's going to work. 40 bucks was the original price of this son of a bitch. I paid like three at a dollar store. So they've got four different apps that you can download. I've... Uh, push these first two fidgetly control and the copter to my tablet and we'll play with them uh, this one lets you do all kinds of things apparently and this copter one is basically flappy bird only you use this fidget spinner somehow to control it let's play i guess first things first is try and get this thing to pair uh, we'll scan and do this. Oh, it shows up right away. So here's those two apps. The control thing. 
Oh. No, no, I'm not giving you my phone number. Okay, so it's found it. That's good. Next. Uh, what? A firmware update? <laughs> okay, um, I'll come back in a second when this is done. This is goofy as hell. Okay, uh, my firmware update on my fidget spinner is done. Bet you there's a phrase you never expected to hear. So, what is this game? Complete 50 revs in 5 seconds. Uh, yeah, okay. There's some challenge. And... About what I expected. Back button doesn't work. The app's hung. Awesome. Uh, I had to clear the apps and, uh, yeah, uh, kill it. Anyways, let's try this other thing. Spin copter. Start scanning. Stop scanning. That one, yeah. Start spinning in three, two, one, go. Okay. Right. I've had fun before. This isn't it. And I can't back out of the freaking game. Okay. Enough trying to use it for what they think it should be used for. Time to do what we actually wanted to do to this thing in the first place. Two CR2032 batteries. Yay. Pop that air I've never actually had my hands on a fidget spinner before so I'm not sure if there's a proper way of taking these apart or I'm assuming they don't want you to take them apart that bearing has plastic balls it's got a metal center racing no matter out metal outer race but it's got a plastic cage and plastic balls Wow, that's as chintzy as I figured it would be. Okay, um, try and separate that now, I guess. That's probably welded, though. It means this could be a one-way. I didn't even have to get to unreasonable force. I just needed sharp implements. It doesn't want to come apart too easily. There we go. I did have to... Ah! So there is the magic, I think. Is that a magnet? That's a magnet. So this side of the little button has a magnet on it. And that's got... a little tab on it. Now, was the magnet aligned with that? I have no way of knowing. Or did that, that spins. Okay. And then that. Then we have this little device here. If it was right side up, you could probably see that it says BRDL. I am going to bet that that is a Hall Effect sensor. Um, and Hall Effect sensors basically are an electronic... Uh, a uh, device that puts out or changes its uh, resistance in the presence of a magnetic field. So it will go up and down in, in resistance or impedance, depending on how you want to look at it, uh, based on this moving magnetic field. Oh, what else do we have going on here? There's the two batteries in their terminals. There's an LED on the back of each one which lights up these little light guides here and appears as three little dots of light on that side 
that's cool and then this side has this well condom on it I guess just to pack it in there and in here oh wow in here we have that looks like a crystal that's an inductor that looks like another crystal y2 yeah and then there's the chip which is upside down i don't recognize that part number but i can try and look it up um it's not a familiar device but i'm going to guess that it's yeah there's the bluetooth uh antenna just etched onto the board so it's probably the blue oh maybe a uh microcontroller with bluetooth uh capability built in this looks promising um that is in fact the logo that's on the chip and it does say efr32 but there's a bunch of other numbers too which are probably a sub number to this thing but this is promising so uh mighty gecko multi-protocol system on chip family it features 32-bit arm cortex wow 256k of flash supports zigbee thread and bluetooth low energy hmm 12 channel per yeah, okay so it's basically just a uh, it is a microcontroller with uh, bluetooth built into it okay what is this u1 there's some numbers on there but i can't make them out they look like they've been partially obscured maybe hmm anyway oh it might be memory for this or who knows so hard to tell hmm so there's quite a bit going on well i mean that's a fairly powerful little chip in there so it can keep track of you know things like that but apparently there's an accelerometer and a gyroscope maybe that's that chip that we couldn't read well that was an interesting ish thing i mean there's not much that we can do with it other than use it in its original format but so i'm going to guess that that little shutter um covers the hall effect sensor just so that it uh, can see a changing magnetic field maybe concentrated a little bit with the metal what are the odds it still works after uh, beating on it like that? The lights still blink. No, it's sort of... The lights come on when I power it on. But the Bluetooth is broken. I was too heavy-handed when I went in there. Oh, well. I was wrong. It does still work. The reason it wouldn't repair is because it already was paired. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Still, not sure what I'm going to use it for, but. Yay. Crash. Well, that was kind of fun and silly. Um, interesting to see what's going on in there. There's a surprising amount packed into this little thing. An accelerometer and a gyroscope and a couple of batteries and a fairly powerful little processor actually so let's uh yeah was it was it worth my effort getting this i think so it was kind of fun seeing what's inside there i'm not going to use it for anything other than just this and probably it's never going to see the light of day again i'm likely going to salvage the batteries out of it and call it done after i crash my helicopter well thanks for watching i appreciate it um if you've got any comments or questions down in the comment section below, as always, thanks for watching. I will talk to you later. Yeah, that is a nice beer.